So today we're gonna to talk about the best suburbs in San Diego and it's gonna start right now. So welcome back to my channel. Once again, my name is Burke McGovern. I'm a local real estate agent here in San Diego. And first, I just wanna start off by congratulating my clients, Amy and Mike. Uh, they just moved down here to San Diego this week. Uh, they found me from my YouTube channel, so I'm very happy for them as they start their new lives here in San Diego. But with that said, we're gonna start with the best suburbs in San Diego. And uh, number one on my list is uh, the city of Poway. They have everything you kind of need in Poway. They have parks, they have restaurants, they have lots of car dealerships. If you're looking for a new car, Poway is a good place to check out. They have uh, where Old Poway Park, it's kind of got this little train tracks going through there. Like these beautiful trees. We actually did our family photos over there one time. They're also rebuilding the kind of the Old Poway area, kind of uh, adding some new restaurants and kind of make it a little charming, old towny feel to it. So it's kind of cool. So Poway is also home to the Poway Unified School District, which is actually a very large school district, second largest school district here in San Diego and one of the best schools and school districts in all of California. Uh, that's where my kids uh, go to Poway Unified School. The other good thing about Poway is you they have small starter homes, you know, two, three bedroom houses around 1,500 square feet, 1,200 square feet even, even. And then they have huge estates there. So I know some former football players used to live there. I think Antonio Gates lived over there, LaDainian Tomlinson. So, you know, you get a little bit of everything. Very centrally located. You can still get to downtown in 25 minutes or so and uh, you're probably about a 20, 25 minute drive to the beach as well. So great place to check out. All right, number two on my list is the, the town that I live in, which is Rancho Penasquitas, Torrey Highlands area, 92129. Uh, what I love most about our community is like it's super outdoorsy town. We got hiking, hiking, mountain biking trails all over the place. We got this huge canyon preserve over there. It's just a great place to raise a family. It's, it's relatively affordable, but you can still find single family homes for in the 700, they start around the $700,000 range and kind of work your way up from there. But you can get condos and townhomes for, you know, four or $500,000. By San Diego standards, not terrible. And very centrally located. You could be downtown 25 minutes and uh, from door to beach at my house, I could be there in 12 minutes. So it's a good spot to be. Next on my list is Scripps Ranch. Scripps Ranch is kind of a similar town to um, Rancho Penasquitas. Kind of a newer neighborhood in the last, you know, 20, 30 years or so. Again, they have great schools very family friendly, a safe neighborhood. It's just east of the Marine base in Miramar. So if you're if you're moving there for military purposes, that'd be a great location for families to live over there, to be close to, to work. You can be downtown in about 15, 20 minutes from, from Scripps Ranch, and you can hit the beach in about 20 minutes as well. So another good spot to live. Miramar Lake is right over there in Scripps Ranch, which isn't too far from there. So that's a good place to check out. And they're building a big shopping center over there now with a with a Whole Foods, which is super exciting for the suburbs. So that's great. Another one who I actually haven't talked about too much, and I think some people have actually commented about this, they want to hear a little bit more about it, is Chula Vista. Uh, it's only about nine miles southeast of downtown. Actually the second largest city in San Diego County. Obviously San Diego is number one, but San Diego, uh, Chula Vista has 272,000 people, which is actually very close in population to like uh, Orlando, Cincinnati, or Pittsburgh. So it's actually a very large city, which I actually didn't realize it was that big, but uh, it is quite large and very close to San Diego City. So you're, like I said, only about nine miles away. It's very close to the uh, Mexico border, border as well. So it was also ranked the 39th safest city in San Diego, or in, in California, I'm sorry, out of 182 cities that were ranked. So very safe place to live. And again, very family friendly, a lot of outdoor stuff to do there in San Diego and you could still have access to all that San Diego has to offer, the beaches, or the Chula Vista Amphitheater, with the, I think it's called, what's it called? North Island Credit Amphitheater. They change the name every other year, it seems. Um, so that's a great music venue down there, outdoor uh, amphitheater. So they get a lot of great bands that go there. So it's a good place to check out if you're in the area. And they also have a great water park in, in Chula Vista called the Aquatica. Uh, that's a really good place to bring your kids. They also have a huge Olympic training facility down in Chula Vista. So there's a lot going on in Chula Vista. Um, I don't get down there as much as because I live about probably 30 miles north of there, uh, but I would like to check it out more often than I do because there's a lot to do down there and it's very family friendly and it's probably one of the more affordable suburbs on this list as well. So the median home price is around $550,000 give or take. And definitely a place worth checking out because there's a lot to do in Chula Vista and uh, very central to most of San Diego as well. All right, next on my list is Carlsbad. Carlsbad is one of my, you know, there's basically any of the North County beaches are great suburbs of San Diego, so they're all worth checking out. But I just included Carlsbad because I'm just trying to 
spread these out a little bit among uh, all different parts of San Diego because I've talked about some of these other ones quite a bit, so I'm just trying to mix it up. Uh, Carlsbad is the very north end of San Diego, about 25 miles north of downtown San Diego. It's got some great restaurants, especially in Carlsbad Village very walkable area of Carlsbad. And if you go the farther you go inland in Carlsbad, Art Carlsbad is also pretty large, but it gets a little bit more affordable. By the beach itself is gonna be pretty, pretty expensive, but it's definitely worth checking out. They also have a great school district up in Carlsbad. Uh, it's definitely in the top five. They're also, if you're also into the brewery lifestyle, there's not a ton in Carlsbad, but just east of there in Vista has a bunch of local breweries like Bel Belching Beaver, Mother Earth, uh, a lot of great breweries to check out. And a little bit farther into Escondido, you can get to Stone Brewery. So the North County, uh, it's kind of the North County hub of San Diego breweries. So it's worth checking out. Their Legoland is also located in the city of Carlsbad. Um, obviously it's a huge place. It's got uh, kind of like a mini Disneyland. It's got a water park, lots to do there with the kiddos. They also have a, a aquarium um, built into uh, Legoland as well as two great uh, hotels that have bunk beds built into each, each and every room in Legoland. So if you're looking for a little staycation as well, Legoland is definitely a good place to check out. Another place I haven't really talked about too much on here is a place in East County, San Diego, which is Santee. Santee is located about 18 miles east of downtown San Diego, so not too far. It takes about 20, 25 minutes to get to downtown. It's a very outdoorsy town. They have a beautiful, what's called the Saint Santee Lakes Park over there. 190 acres park that has seven recyclable lakes over there. So it's a really good place to do. You can go camping, you can uh, rent little boats over there. Um, they have cabins you can rent as well. Uh, so it's a really cool place to check out and I don't think there's another place in San Diego that has that many lakes around in a small vicinity over there. So it's definitely a good place to check out. Super family friendly. Schools are, are very well rated there in Santee as well. Again, it's Nice County. It's going to get hotter. Probably, you know, 10, 15 degrees hotter there in the dead of summer. Um, so another thing I like about Santee is they have a lot of local, uh, locally owned restaurants. There's not as many chain restaurants, especially in most of East County, actually. I kind of noticed that. So if you're the farther you get into, um, the heart of San Diego, you'll find a little bit more chainy type restaurants, but in East County, they've kind of kept it a little bit more local than most of San Diego. So that's a kind of a cool thing about East County uh, restaurants over there. And the medium home price in Santee is about 535,000, give or take. All right, next on my list is one, we have talked about a good amount. We actually did a neighborhood tour of it. You can check it up right up here, is Carmel Valley. Carmel Valley, uh, one of the best school districts in all of California. There are three of the high schools they have there. They have Cathedral Catholic, they have Torrey Pines, and Canyon Crest Academy which are rate, always rated in the top you know, 30 in the whole state of California. So people kind of move to San Diego and are drawn to Carmel Valley because of that. It's a very affluent area, so it's not the cheapest place in the world. The average uh, home price there is a little over a million dollars. It's very centrally located. You're just east of Del Mar, right next to Solana Beach. So you can get anywhere in San Diego very quickly. 20 minutes to Carlsbad, 20 minutes to downtown. Probably one of the best locations in all of San Diego, but you're also gonna pay for it. So. If you're looking for um, a more affluent area that's centrally located with great access to beaches, restaurants, shopping, then Carmel Valley is a great place to check out. So that is my list of all um, the best suburbs in San Diego. Uh, honorable mention goes to San Marcos, um, all the beach communities, as I mentioned before, La Mesa, Del Sur and Forest Ranch, uh, Ranch Bernardo, all great places to live. There's even more than that, but I'm just trying to give you my favorite spots for suburbs here in San Diego, because when I moved here, I couldn't find too much information besides just what you find on Wikipedia as far as what's out there. So hopefully this video was helpful. And if you guys are ever planning on to move to San Diego, I would love to help you find your next home. And if this is your first time to our channel, please subscribe to our channel as we try to post new videos every week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and check out this video up here. I'll tell you a little bit more about what it's like to live in San Diego. Thanks for watching. Bye.